Well, look who's slowly rolling in. The old jarhead. Here we go. Gonna do some milling. But I don't know how well that sawmill is gonna go up and down this slope here. Because our goal is right char. We might drag some ground. Oh, shoot. Yeah, we're gonna drag that hind in big time. Okay, pretty darn sure that we're gonna tear out my sprinklers when we go down here. I've got a, there's a pair of sprinklers sitting dead. So, oh my gosh, look at that. Even, even the truck's gonna high center. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. He's done this before. I'm, I'm guessing with a sawmill like this, you probably get yourself into some really crazy places. But, oh, oh, whoa. chunk of wood there too and try to just drag a chunk of wood instead. Let me grab something. If it looks like we're going to hit it well, then we'll just throw it on. there I think I think you're well over yeah you're well I think just go ahead and keep going you, you got another six feet seven feet yeah we're gonna go for it keep rolling that's gonna be a good shot right there okay you're dragging just go ahead and go that's just crushing that piece of wood right next to the sprinklers. Oh, we took one of them. It's all right. Oh, they're both still there. I can't believe it. Uh, good. A little worse now, but it's still going. Now we're going to hit. Hold tight. Let me throw the wood there. Wow. Not have gone any closer. All right, go for it. Let's see what happens. Keep, keep going. I'm, I'm good. I'm staying behind it. Victory! <laughs> Finally, Jackson Brown shows up after all the scary parts done. Look at this. We got it down there. Okay, you can't get any closer to them sprinklers than that right there. <laughs> All right, well, this is nuts. To get it down here and get it out is all the work. Yeah, nobody listens to local radio. They should be at, they should be advertising on M5 performance they on YouTube. Should. That's right. All right, let's watch the pup. Okay, right. saw dog. Hang on, let me see if I lure him over this way. Oh, catch that. Yeah. God dang. That right there, folks, is called leverage. Yeah. Crap, man, it's on there. Just like that. All right, hey folks, welcome back to the channel. <laughs> How was that drive in? Is that insane or what? Now, we're gonna get this log loaded up on the deck and we're gonna start milling it down and you're gonna wanna stick around for this. We're gonna run into some nails, we're gonna have some fun and be sure to hang out till the end. I'm gonna show you some cool boats that Scott does and I wanna thank Scott over at M5 Performance. Folks, if you haven't checked his channel out, check it out. You know, it's, it's some pretty cool stuff he does. Those little boats, 
sometimes when I'm watching his videos, I think, holy cow, they look real. It's amazing. And then we got to get out of this spot. So if you thought getting in was kind of exciting, well, <laughs> we got to get out still too. So stick around. Let's get this log milled up. And then we'll get some water. Show you what it looks like on the inside. Something that I rarely get a chance to do. Talk a little bit about what's going on. Show you the adventure of getting out. Then I'm going to show you one of Scott's boats and... We'll chat a little bit about that. So stick around. Let's get this done. That's a nail. <laughs> no way. Big one. No way, dude. I'm so sorry. Sorry. Right. Part, of... part of what happens. <laughs> oh, I can't believe it. You got it down. Oh, and you just cleaned off the head of that. How bad to screw up the blade? Really? Yep. Holy crap. Yeah. Yeah, you can see how we're cutting smoother here, and then right there. Top, yeah, top, yeah, 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 yeah. So we'll change the band out, skim right underneath that. And hope there's no more. <laughs>
All right, let's get this last cut done, and then we're going to get some water, and we're going to show you what it looks like. So we'll just finish this off real quick, and then we have the adventure of getting out of this spot. <laughs> and as promised, I'm going to show you one of Scott's boats. Uh, Scott's a really neat guy. He's got a great channel. So stick around for that. You're going to want to see it. It's some pretty cool stuff, especially the adventure of getting out of here. But, but the boats are pretty cool too, folks. Check it out. Here you go. I don't need some nails. <laughs> End out pretty good. Put this past. So. The seamless walnut always amazes me how white it is. I have seen pictures of some that was darker, but this is really white. Yeah, it's going to be some nice stuff and get a bit of a crotch in here. Pretty pretty. I hit a nail with a 4 degree, hit a nail with a 9 degree, so we had to take that off and deal with it. But we're going to put some water on there and have a look and see what that looks like. We have very much water, so I didn't want to carry it all that. Yeah, that's alright. Let's just throw some up on there and see what we end up with. Oh, yeah, look at that. Yeah, that's oh, pretty. Yeah, that's going to be pretty. Be nice. Yep. Let me see. This is going to be nice right here, too. I wish this was wider. On the other side, it's going to be wider. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's going to be the great. The trick is going to be some dye. You see that yellow? Right. You see that a lot on that English walnut. Yeah. Kind of goes yellow, but you've got a little bit of the palm tree effect right here. It's got some character, that's for sure. That end down there, though, huh? That's from down here right now, it's like, oh, wow. Really? Yeah. Yeah, you can kind of see it now coming out. Oh, look at that green pattern right here. Coming around here and then yeah. how long will I, will I let this uh, dry? Well, honestly, you're looking at probably a year. Is that right? Yeah. Some say a year per inch, but it's so dry here in the Tri Cities. If you keep this air movement, keep it in the shade. Yep. All right, folks, now we got to deal with all that. And then we might have to take a look at some of those boats. We are trying to avoid those two sprinklers right there which we just missed on the way down but once i start pulling straight that leg right there is going to swing in and take those right out i can't back up because of that right there so we're <laughs> we're in that spot where we're going to have to just go for it and drag her up <laughs> good times this is what happens sometimes you got to get into these crazy spots sometimes and it just works out that way. So Scott's going to dig those sprinklers up. Do a little digging. <laughs> Do a little digging. Hey, you know, you'll be creating a hole that will kind of groove right through then, right? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's the weird, you know what? In a weird way, that's, that's seriously what's going to happen here. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. What a beautiful setting out here, though. Absolutely gorgeous. That's the Yakima River right there. Yakima River. Okay. Nice fire pit right there to sit down here, enjoy the fire and the mosquitoes. Yeah, there's a witching hour for the skeeters. Once you get past it, you're okay. That's a good drop right there. Let me show you what we're dealing with here. <laughs> Alright, there you go. Bottom of the mill is in the dirt. Right there, we got to get up this bank. We're hitting sprinklers right there, so that's quite a steep angle. But you know what? We'll drag it up there. We got it down here. We'll get it up. What goes up must come down, but what goes down must come up. In this case, <laughs> I don't think that's what the saying does. <laughs> but that's what's going to happen here today. That's <laughs> what's going to happen. We got we got six six wheels and uh, four wheel drive and uh, nine thousand pound truck. We'll drag it up here. We might do some uh, agricultural tilling while yeah. we're at it. But uh, all right. So be it. Do yeah, your you worst. Wanna, you want to hang out of that one? Oh yeah. Let's just see just exactly. That's what I want to see is my property get ripped to shreds. <laughs> First thing, yeah. Oh, oh, you know what? It, it lowered and then it lifted right where it would have hit him. Okay, that would have got him. 
Oh, that was so clean. Okay, this right here, this is what we call a waste of time. But we also call that sprinklers that are not broken. It's all good. Thanks, Eric. This thing is just slicker than heck, man. Okay, I'm the guest host. You need something milled, you call Eric. It's unbelievable. What a day we had. Yeah, I've got a little dirt here and there. <laughs> oh, you wouldn't believe it. It was like just to, it was just to uh, thumb its nose at me. It, it climbed right over it, huh? There's something, except there's for something right here. Said, right, except for that there. <laughs> the leverage turned out that it just put that foot right up off of there, and then that so we didn't, we didn't, so. we didn't kill your sprinklers. No. All right. Yeah, I got good sprinklers too. Just a little dirt. Yeah. That. yeah. That was that was from the bottom of the hill. Yeah. All right. Fantastic. Where's your uh, boat okay. at? This boat right here. Last race of the season last year. The main event. I this think I saw that video. Boat hit me and blasted the whole right side off. First race of the year this year, I got hit and it blew. Part of this is still original. Blew everything off the left side. Oh wow! Destroyed the cowling, but all I did was patch it back together. It's now it's got Put it back some, together some, and away you go. Race, yeah. Race, yeah. Uh, carnage there. And of course, this last weekend somebody hit me and uh, <laughs> knocked a hole here. So it's a race boat, man. Uh, yeah, yeah. That's how race boats work. It's not a model. But, and, uh, little nitro and just cute little magnets on there and you bang oh, the lid magnets, on and away huh? you go. Wow. So you're looking at a 10 pound boat here Wow! that goes 65 miles an hour. You know I've watched your videos and I'm <laughs> amazed at how fast those go. Oh, it's, <laughs> it's unbelievable. Oh. Now do you use uh, balsa wood? No it's all it's all ply. Oh really? Like yes, eighth inch all, ply uh, or something? Um, well, a lot of guys use eighth. I, I use a quarter here quarter, just for yeah. a little bit of structure. Yeah, I got you. The whole top deck is actually one millimeter. Or it, it's really? finish. Wow. I finish. Uh, it's F I double N I S H ply. It's a really high grade ply. So right. You can use super thin up here. One point five millimeter on the bottom. Well. A little bit of eighth here and there in the structure. Uh, not much of nothing. It's madness, I'll tell you what. <laughs> yeah. It's terrifying, uh, it's fun, it's thrilling, it's scary. It's, uh, I mean, you live a whole lifetime every lap. Oh yeah, no, I, I've, I've watched some of the, the video oh, and I'm just you? like, wow, this is a real actually yeah, when you're watching well, it, you know, it's like, <laughs> and they are moving. <laughs> but I am cool. much more of a builder than I am a driver and that's why yeah. my boat looks kind of rough. That's all right. Man. That's all right. You're using it. <laughs> What's the point? There you go, babe. Nice. Now those are not, they, they don't move, that's just a... Nope, that's just fixed. They only turn one direction. Like a foil. Yep, yep, so you're making right hand corners and this is your... You don't have one on both pin. sides, huh? Nope. Oh, okay. Nope, you're basically anchoring on this. It's just like oh. running, you know, like NASCAR <laughs> or something where you run an oval track. Right, right, right. But, uh, huh, interesting. I'd seen that on one of them and I didn't know why they were there. I thought, oh, it's just some kind of foil. Just uh, to, no, that's all. That's how it's turning, huh? That's all strategy and different sizes. Now, and it has like a rudders on the, underneath the turn oh, yeah. too, though. Yeah. Oh, sure. On the back, I see that, yeah. Oh, sure. oh just one. Oh, okay, yep. gotcha. Yep. Just one, that's all my own. Right by the exhaust. My own design hardware and stuff there. Cool. Do you mill the hardware? Oh, okay. Yep. That's what the milling machine's for. Yep, that's what the milling machine and then the lathe to make mufflers and other. Oh, you make your own mufflers other too. Other parts. Oh, yeah. Well, you know, it's fun. Like yeah. I said, I, I'm, I'm a builder, you know, so I, I enjoy the building part and then I go race it and I break it and then I build it again. <laughs> right, there you go. <laughs> M5 Performance Hydroplanes on YouTube. Check me out. Hey, give me a like and subscribe. Right after you like and subscribe, the old Jarheads video. <laughs> there you go. Get us both. Come on, show us some love. You heard him, folks. We do this if, all If for you, you don't, then this guy right here is going to put yoga pants on when we run the sawmill next time. Coming to your house. <laughs> <laughs> all right, hey, folks. And coming up next, well, I head back up to Badger Mountain in a windstorm. Got a bunch of logs I got to get milled up. So I'll bring that to you. I think it's going to be a good time. You can see them right there. So stick around, we'll get those out for you soon. And folks, I hope everyone has a wonderful Merry Christmas. Y'all have a great weekend. The old Jarhead out.